Hello, and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Thursday, January 7th, 2016 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi, and our energy mantra for today is, I allow spirit to lead me on my path. And that's going to be an important mantra to keep coming back to today as we've got some stuff going on. The first thing that I want to mention is that we have Jupiter going retrograde this evening, 8.40 p.m. And Jupiter is going to be retrograde all the way through the beginning of May, May 9th. And this retrograde is so interesting because, you know, Jupiter is this planet of expansion. It wants us to learn. It wants us to grow. It wants us to tune into the universe. It's like, hey, just tune in. Just see. Just see the magic. Just, you know, just just be. Just be. Just be in this. Um, and it's so great while it's in Virgo because it really gives us an opportunity to just I think it's fascinating that Jupiter is in Virgo, an earth sign retrograding, and Mercury, as of tomorrow, is going to be retrograding back into Capricorn. So we have this, you know, this double earth energy retrograding, helping us go in. And earth energy, we know, helps us bring things into the physical. So it's like we're having to go back. We're having to go back in tune in um, and look at our, maybe look at our practice of manifestation. Look at our, how we're bringing things into the physical. You know, Jupiter connects us to our body mind, you know, with each cell, there is consciousness. So, <laughs> you know, it's, it's so crazy, but I look at, you know, things, people are like, it's an inanimate object, and well, it kind of is. There's movement in here, the, the cells, the atoms, there's movement in it. And in this ordinary piece of stone, Buddha stone, um, there's consciousness. So think, if you believe that there's consciousness in these crystals, in the stones, in the plants, in the animals, Think of the consciousness that is existing in you, the levels of universes that are existing in you. And this is your opportunity with Jupiter going retrograde in Virgo to expand upon the universes, the universes of knowledge, the universes of experience, the universes of input that's going on in you. And I wrote this today on my Instagram. <laughs> um, don't let these retrogrades knock you off your game. I know I've been like, oh, Jupiter's retrograde. Like Jupiter and Mercury are actually my two, two of my biggest ruling planets as I'm a Sagittarius and my rising is Gemini. Um, so Jupiter and Mercury like rule me. So I'm having this deep call to go in, but it's not going in to knock you off your game. It's to take you deeper, it's take you deeper into your game into who you are, into how you're showing up on this physical plane, how you're manifesting as yourself, as your body, mind, consciousness, soul on this physical planet. So, you know, let yourself be guided in. Let spirit help take you in. Let anything that goes hooey with Mercury retrograde, because it, it happens, let that show you something deeper about yourself, because that's really what it is all about. So, if you hear nothing else, hear that. <laughs> Besides that going on, we have the sun and the moon connecting to Uranus today. So Uranus loves to bring surprise. Uranus, along with this retrograde pattern, definitely could lead to some interesting technological communication things, um, even electrical nervous system stuff going on. This is where allowing spirit to lead you, to show you what is that deeper lesson. That's where you really need that help today. And it's so fascinating because Uranus is at 16 degrees, which is a seven. And that's why it's connecting with the sun because that's where the sun is today. It's a square. So, you know, the Capricorn control freak, we have all the signs in us. So if Capricorn's in your chart somewhere, so wherever it's holding on control, Uranus may come in, shake that up, but recognize that spirit working through that Uranus energy of changing it up to help you guide you deeper within yourself. The moon in Sagittarius is connecting to Uranus. This is a trine. So this is a really helpful connection. Not to say that any connections aren't helpful, but this is like 
an easy connection. It's like, I always like in trines to like two friends linking arms skipping down the street. So the sun and your, or the moon and Uranus are doing that today. So this also may open up your awareness to something else through all these things. So just pay attention and pay attention to how spirit is leading you because I promise we are being led. <laughs> Whether you're resisting and you're like, no, <laughs> or you're going along with how you're being led. But, um, so besides that, we're also in the dark of the moon. We're building to the new moon coming this weekend. So this is going to remind you, there's going to be a lot of things that you just don't know. You don't know why spirit is leading you down the path that you're going down. You don't have to know why. Your whys may get answered during these retrogrades or they may get answered when we come back out. But trust, trust your path. Take this retrograde to go deeper into your trust that the universe is taking care of you and that everything is always working out for you. So that being said, let me show you the card. So I pulled this card for myself this morning and I wanted to show this to you because I think this really opened me up to that message of don't let knock, retrograde knock you off your game, let it take you deeper in. And it's just from the Miracles Now deck. And it's, I measure my success by how much fun I'm having. Have fun as you go deeper in. Magic school bus yourself. Enjoy the experience of getting to know yourself on these deeper physical levels during these retrogrades. Besides that, it's amazing. Jupiter, planet of expansion. Despite the fact that it's going retrograde, it's like, hey, it is taking you on an adventure. What kind of adventure is it? It's an adventure of healing. Healing your physical self, how you show up on a physical level by getting in to the nitty gritty, into the mind, the cell or the body mind, the cell minds, the atom minds, the consciousness that is deeper than what comes up here. And it's so amazing with the Mercury retrograde that our mind is kind of offline and ready to like, ready to listen. How amazing is this universe that it like just fits these little pieces in for us? We're coming to a deeper understanding of ourselves that's going to lead to that healing. So be willing to take this adventure. Say yes to retrograde with me. The other card that I pulled that I want to mention is I pulled the sorrow card. Um, and I think that sometimes when we uncover this consciousness, we do find sorrow. And some of that sorrow often is from the fact that we haven't tuned in. And we feel that grief for like living these lives without tuning in. Feel it you know, do your work with it. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. And then let it go and let yourself go deeper in. You're like, I'm here now. Let me connect now. So that's it for today. Happy Jupiter retrograde. I have shifted my mind on it and now I'm looking forward to it amazingly enough. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.